Hey guys, um, we just got to our hotel in Miami. We're going to be staying here for a few days. Um, and I thought I would give you a little hotel room tour before all of our stuff gets everywhere. So um, we're staying at the St. Regis in Bell Harbor and it's gorgeous so far. Um, here's the like entryway to our room with all of our stuff. And here is the walk-in shower and the bathtub, which I will be definitely taking a bubble bath later. Cute little vanity area. Oh, they even gave us like stuff for like a bubble bath. Super nice. And here's a separate area for the toilet and extra vanity. And over here, I was so excited to see that they have like a nice little walk-in closet. So we can like hang all of our clothes and really get settled in for our stay. Then here's the main area. So nice little seating area here. The bed. TV and like nice little mini bar area. But the best part is definitely the view. So this is very indoor outdoor living vibes. And look at this gorgeous day that we have here in Miami. Um, I think this is definitely the nicest place that we've ever stayed. And we are just so excited and feel so lucky to be here okay so we are getting ready to hit the pool i um, wanted to show you my outfit um, i have this like cute blue flowered bikini from hollister and a like striped blue cover-up little no i'm full focus little layered necklaces and h&m sandals so Actually, we're going to the beach, not the pool. So, see you there. Hey guys, so we made it to the beach. Um, we are just having a little snack. Let me show you guys our view. Okay, so we totally got rained on at the pool. Uh, but we were able to catch like a little bit. Um, so we just went back to our room and showered and it took a nice bath. Um, we got changed and now we're at this uh, mall across the street from our hotel. I think it's called the Shops at Bell Harbor. And it's really cute. They have like palm trees and a little koi in the middle. So we're gonna do some window shopping and then get dinner here. So I will catch you guys later. guys so I was not expecting to make any sort of purchase but I found a I found a pochette Matisse and I think it's perfect hey guys so we just got back from dinner um, and celebrating our very impromptu purchase so you probably saw the clip of me trying on the pochette Matisse in the Louis Vuitton store and yeah, we have been looking for this bag for a long time. We've gone to several Louis Vuitton locations um, in different cities. And when we walked into the store, I asked, um, I was like, oh, do you have a Pochette Matisse in the monogram? And this very nice sales lady was like, oh, you and everyone else, but I'll check. And so I was, you know, just waiting and browsing. And then she came back and she was like, oh my gosh, I have one. And then and, the room went dark. And then the room went dark. And next thing we knew, we walked out with a few bags <laughs> from the store. Yes. Um, we got a little something for Juan's mom as well. Um, but we also 
brought him the Pouchette Matisse and Monogram, which is very, very exciting. So um, we'll do a little unboxing for you right now. Okay, so we're, we're gonna try this like little unboxing vantage point. So here's the box. Um, it's in this, I think this classic like saffron packaging, orange packaging. Um, so it comes with the ribbon. So I'm not doing this right, okay. And then, da, 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 da. here's the dust bag that it comes with. And inside is our new member of the family. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, and she has the machete on the top, on the top handle, they're all like that and yeah so beautiful this lock opens and it comes with a strap that's huh? yeah this is adjustable Juan is whispering instructions to me <laughs> so this strap is adjustable which is really really nice and yeah I'm sure we will love this bag for years and years to come so very very happy and excited bye babe Absolutely. Yes. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. Um, it was very exciting for us too. And I just love that bag. I'm really excited to hopefully get some good snaps with it um, on the rest of our trip. And I just curled my hair because I am having to get up early tomorrow and shoot some sunrise content. Um, I checked my Sky Candy app and it says there's a 51% chance of a beautiful sunrise tomorrow, um, but sunrise is at 6.25, so there was no way I was gonna wanna be curling my hair at that time. So I did it tonight, and we will see if the sunrise is nice tomorrow morning. I'm hoping so. Um, I am pretty tired. Juan is still going strong, I think, right? Yep. Yeah, he just nodded. He's still going strong, but um, I think we're just going to watch Love Island and I'm probably going to call it a night. Juan will probably stay up for a little bit. Um, but I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Have a good night. Good morning, guys. So we did wake up um, to catch the sunrise. And it was really pretty. Um, not as vibrant as I would have hoped. But I still got a few like good um, silhouette snaps. So let me show you the view. You can see a little bit of color, but I mean, we haven't seen the sunrise in like years, so we're pretty happy to do that. I think we might order some breakfast, some room service for breakfast and see what we get up to today. The weather seems to be um, a little bit better today, at least for the time being, so we shall see. Hey guys, I um, wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So this morning Juan and I woke up to watch the sunrise um, and take some photos on the beach, um, which was really, really pretty. Um, the sun came out for a little bit and then we had um, a little breakfast downstairs and we came up and I immediately took a nap. So I just woke up. Um, I just shot this like little black look. And honestly, the weather's like pretty gray right now um, and windy. So not sure like how enjoyable the pool is gonna be. And in any case, we got like, accidentally got sunburned yesterday. So we're just chilling around the room. Um, Juan's chilling on the balcony, and I think I'm gonna shoot a couple more looks um, around around our room. So yeah, that is all we have on the agenda today, and I'm just really liking, honestly, like chilling in our room um, and trying to get some content. So I'll check in with you guys later.
so weird in the span of like literally two minutes the sky turned pink wow hey guys it is the next day um Juan and I woke up early again to catch the sunrise, which was so magnificent, but very, very fleeting. Um, I think it lasted like all of five minutes, 10 minutes. Um, anyways, we are now at the pool. Um, we are checking out today, but trying to get some pool time in uh, before our checkout. And yeah, I think we might go to um, a nearby beach to take some more photos afterwards. For now, we're just going to enjoy this lovely pool and our lovely view. So, I'll catch you guys in a bit. You want to say anything, babe? Nah, good vibes. Good vibes. Only good vibes. We are here at the Wynwood Walls in Miami, checking out all of the murals. I think that this lady with the tiny alligator on her arm is my favorite so far. Um, it is scorching. Right, babe. So we're just trying to stay hydrated, but all the artwork here is like really amazing. So um, we're gonna go see some more. Science Museum and look at these little screech owls. Oh, it's not focusing. So cute. Hey guys, so we are here in Atlanta for our layover. Um, our flight from Atlanta to DC got delayed, so we got a quick bite to eat at this Cuban place called Poppy's in the airport. Um, we actually used to go to Poppy's a lot when we lived in Atlanta, so that was a nice little throwback. Um, I'm probably going to sign off on the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed following along um, on our Miami adventures, and um, I will see you in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye! <laughs>